White, please, say sure. a few remarks. Thank you. It, it's kind of funny because, you know, I came into office in early 2007, and I kind of put my involvement in this project as kind of like the uh, a relay runner. It, that I didn't even come into this until the very last leg of, of a race. And when I was out campaigning and, and talking to people in Mount Pleasant Township, they say, oh, we need water, we need water. And, you know, the, the, being the naive candidate, you say, oh, how hard can it be to get water somewhere? <laughs> I mean, seriously, how hard can it be? It's, you know, you put a pipe in the ground and you run it. And we got into office and, and we started working on it. And, and we deal with people from Mount Pleasant all the time because my office is only about five minutes down the road here. So it's a natural kind of first point of contact for people to come and make. And people would come in and say, well, what are you doing about water in Mount Pleasant? And so I sat down and I said, you know, I've got to see what's going on with this. I said, let me get the, the I, I need a brief history of this project. And I'm not lying, whenever I, I, somebody sent me the history of what had gone on in this project to date, and this was in 2007, I mean, it was a, a full afternoon of reading, and that was just me skimming it as a lawyer and just kind of looking for the important parts. I mean, it was about this thick. And it was a great way, I have to give credit, it was a great way for me to learn about so many agencies that I never even knew existed in the Commonwealth. The Office of the Consumer Advocate, the Office of the Small Business Advocate, um, and learning how the PUC works with utility companies. And it was a, when it was all, I was got it all done and I sat down and I, I thought about it, I said, oh my God, it's amazing that they've gotten this far. Because things were just so tied up and intertwined and there had been so many road bumps. Um, and it got to the point where when people were asking, what's going on with water in Hickory? you couldn't give a 30 second answer. There was no easy political answer to give. And so finally what I started telling everybody was, you know, when they were asking about what's going on in Hickory compared to other areas, so you have to realize, Hickory and Mount Pleasant Township is a, a totally unique, once in a lifetime situation. You can't use that as a comparison for any other project that you have going on. It's just that different in what's been happening. And it really, uh, this thing you know, could have failed so many different times along the way. I mean, all the way up until the very end when the, you know, the, the PUC you know, was going to make their final decision. Um, so there, was, there were so many potential roadblocks that the people in this room worked together to help overcome it. And you know, I, I don't think, to be honest, I don't think you're giving yourselves enough of a pat on the back. Um, you know, what, what Diane's done and, and what Debbie and Kathy and every, everybody have done um, on this project has just really been a, a wonderful example of how government can actually get something done. All we ever hear is government can't do anything. And this is a wonderful example of how government can actually get things done. And the thing that excites me about it is, is the potential for the future. Um, and to touch on you know, some of the things that Diane said, for example, about fire protection and, and the, the, the drilling and some of these other things, what this line is gonna allow us to do is allow now for, we're already planning for what's next. You know, we've got a commitment for another 300 homes to go down to connect uh, the Metacroft Rock Shelter down in that area. Um, you know, it, it always blew my mind. When there's a gorgeous $3 million wooden building sitting there, and if it caught on fire, there would be basically no way to put the fire out. Um, it, you know, that, that blew my mind. Um, so we're able to reach into these other areas now and provide service that would not have been possible if this main line hadn't extended. So, you know, between that, with the water we're providing for the natural, natural gas industry, it's going to be creating jobs out here. Um, it's going to be providing public safety, and it's going to be providing people, as you said, with potable water and a peace of mind. So this really is a, a, a wonderful, uh, it's a wonderful thing to have everybody in a room talking about a project and not arguing about it. So, you know, I, I wish that all of my public works projects went this way. Um, and, and you really should be commended on the fine work that you've done. And I, I don't know if the people of Mount Pleasant really realize all of the hard work and dedication and obstacles that you overcame in order to make this possible. So as the representative on behalf of them, I just want to make sure you have my most heartfelt thanks and, and deepest appreciation. So thank you very much.